Hey everyone, Wanderpod here, and welcome to Pan Pan. It's a, uh, apparently a spaceship rebuild builder puzzle game. I don't even know. All I know about it is the game is gorgeous. It uses a really nice vectory, low poly, ah, uh, vectory, low poly 3D style. <laughs> I have to crash the spaceship? <laughs> what? Wow, I am a giant asshole. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I, I had to be the one to crash the spaceship. I'm a terrible person. I'll take it. I guess I'm this guy. I kind of wish I wasn't a person. Am I a guy or am I a girl? Can't tell. I'm gonna assume I'm a girl. We'll go from there. And also dead. There's that too. What? My well, spaceship. I'm very confused. I really like this visual style though. More games need to do this sort of thing. Oh, interesting. This totally looks like it's made for mobile. Get out of my way, birds! This is my planet now. Or not. Oh. Oh, dude, it's a trio of like old guy things. And they're fixing my ship. Or something. I... What? I'm really confused. Save. Yes. Continue. Yes. Okay, where's where's the old feller? I like that it's non-verbal. Well, verbal, non-verbal. <laughs> so we're missing a number of pieces, presumably. I love the voice acting for it. It's like bop 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 bop. I don't know. It reminds me of like a a children's show almost. In like the way they do the the talking, like it, it reminds me of something that I can't remember right now, and I almost want to say it's like Teletubbies, but it's not quite. No, it's totally just straight up Teletubbies. Well, that's not a good thing. Oh, that's cool. There's like a map exploration. Thing. This game is really pretty, by the way. Like for a visual style, this is both like super simple, but also like really nicely unique. I okay, it does actually remind me a bit of Hyperlife. A hyperlight drifter now that I think about it just in the like isometrism and the the geometry of it all huh. interesting I'll have to leave that alone for the time being until I find some way of solving it looks like there's a number of things that can sort of be done Unless, oh, it's like a, it's a bridge. It's a mobile bridge, so I can move it here. And it'll go down. Well, let's keep, let's keep exploring this area for at least a little while. Oh, I am digging this. Can't do. I don't even know what, like, any of this stuff is. The one problem is, since there's no words, period, it does, get out of here, birds. It's my planet. Shoo. Character just grabs one and eats one. Also, I think our guile, guile, is actually like just a, a lady. Could be wrong. Don't entirely know. This is really slick though, and even if it does look totally like it should be a mobile port, I find myself not caring too much. It's <laughs> they make fart noises. <laughs> oh man, whomever made this must have been having fun. Yeah, I, I, I found this game actually. I, I was looking over games that have been released lately. Mostly just curious to see, you know, what could possibly have come out lately. In terms of... Uh, you know, games that... You know, I was a bit out of the loop, I think. What is this one? 
I have no idea. Doesn't look like it worked. There's a lot of save points. I'm not entirely sure if we need them. Okay, let's pick this up. Put it down over here. Oh, I can rotate. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, if I if I if I click the thing itself, we put it down. Okay. So we've got this diamond here. Maybe the diamond goes there. Maybe this goes here. I don't know if this is supposed to be spherical, but maybe this goes here. And then this one goes here. Are we good? Did that work? I feel like I've missed something. It's not a good feeling. Is it based on sides? So maybe if I put that one there? I have no idea, we'll come back. I, I feel like I'm... Wildly, oh. What? So this has a thing. It has a symbol on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So this... Each one has a symbol associated. Do we try bringing it out here? Is that the point? Well, let's grab the diamond, which is arguably the most... I assume this is the diamond. Arguably the easiest to, to place. Yep, so this is the diamond. Whereas this... Doesn't light up. Yeah, there we go. I knew I knew it had to be something. Okay, so this one is the hexagony thing. This is really slick. Character moves around pretty pretty quickly too. I'm digging that. It's not here. Triangle? This is apparently triangle. The lights up in slightly different colors. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I think this is okay. I'm confused, obviously. So we've already tried diamond. What about hourglass? Yeah, so this is hourglass. There we go. Awesome. All right. So we solved, yeah, we solved our actual first puzzle. What have we got in here? Can't do anything with it. Oh, do we bring them over here? Yeah, it's got like a collector thingy. Let's see if we can bring it over here. There we go. Do they all go in? Okay, need just a little bit more. This is really cool. Like, the puzzles are complicated, but not impossible. I mean, I don't even know if they are complicated or not. But, uh, okay, so I'll admit, I've been playing Abduction lately. Uh, the, like, you know, kind of su spiritual successor to Mist and whatnot. Actually, I think I like this more already. Just in terms of, like, the visual style, the fact that there are puzzles, and, like, yeah, I mean, the story, there's no story, and the mystery's minimal and stuff, but just in terms of, like, here's a gorgeous little area, here's a puzzle, self-explanatory, generally self-contained, self so on and so forth, it's, it's usually a good system. Oh, what? Oh.
Um, so we got this thing now. How do we bring it with? Can I throw it over the corner? No, 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 no. No, don't, don't leave it behind. How am I supposed to get it up there if the brick wall's in the way? Unless it has something to do with this mound. Well, I've saved, but... And I have it, but now what do I do? I'm gonna be real sad if... Yeah, no, I guess we gotta come back later. We've got the puzzle almost completely solved. But we're li missing the last critical little bit. Which kind of super duper suckles constantly, but still. I guess, yeah, let's just get out of here. Like, we've got a couple of things that may or may not be, like, helpful. Given the... Oh, I can zoom in and out. I can zoom in pretty close. Yeah, for a low-poly game, this looks real nice. Like, there's a little bit of anti-aliasing issues. But only a little. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave that there for the time being. We need to get it in here, but until we can figure out some way of getting rid of those blocks, we can't do anything with it. That sucks. Alright, let's go this way. Maybe we'll find some kind of tool or... or process. Or maybe I've missed something completely. I don't know. I'm having a good time, though. It's, um... It's pretty quality stuff. You know, let's... No. Those diamonds look decorative. I don't know what this pot does. It might actually do something important. One way or another, I'm just gonna run around with it. Oh, there's another pot. Oh, there's a dude in here. Yeah, so we need, we need something. We get a tool later that lets us, uh, break stuff. I can only, I can only assume. Got a lot of these, like, empty squares here, too. Which could be multiple things. Okay. So what's this? Oh, that's that's the battery for my ship. That's another battery. Presumably for something else apart from my ship. Let's grab this. Maybe this battery has to be charged up. No, that's not what I even clicked on. Let's see. If I put it here, does the door open? No, it does not. What do these things do? I was kind of hoping they blorp at me. Oh, I get it. That's a... Uh, it's a connector node. It's not a battery in and of itself. It just... Is a thing. Okay, this is cool. So then if we... Grab this... Door closes. However, what I can do is put this here. Which weights it down. Which means now, if I pick this up, we can keep going. Okay, this makes sense. Trial and error and whatnot. Grab the next one. This is, uh, super, super clever. I can't believe nobody- I haven't heard of this. Yeah, so I, I found it just by checking out, like, what games have come out lately. And it just- it just showed up on the list. Uh, like, the list of Steam games coming out. Is this is a- Oh, it's like a robot man. Weird. Um, it, it was just a list of games that have come out recently, and I was like, oh, dude. 
How did I not know about this? And the game is like, I don't know. And I was surprised. And I bought it. I think it's like 13 bucks. Might be up to 15. If it's on mobile, it's probably better there just because. I don't know, it always feels like one of those where it's like, if you've got a mobile version, it's generally cheaper there and probably more worthwhile. What are these things? Oh, they're, um... They're like RAM. We're trying to get to the next battery system. Problem is... I don't know... There's no real indication, so I'm just gonna plug things in. We're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna try... this. Nothing. Why? Not a clue. We'll grab this. Oh, I see. This is why we need all three. So it begs the question coming back here. How is this activated? Also can't tell if that sound effect has anything to do with the, um... Okay, if I put this down... Oh. What? Okay. Not so sure about that one. A little bit confused, really. A little bit lot confused. I have no idea what just happened there. Well, that's okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's supposed to match this one here, if you notice. I wasn't paying attention, I just purely guessed it by chance. You know, I do that more often than I'd like, and ultimately it leaves me with a feeling of kind of dissatisfaction. Mainly because, what? But, I mean, it worked out, so what do I care? And I figured out what the actual answer was later. I just, it took some time. Probably would have figured it out eventually, and somebody's probably yelling at me about this. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we got a beepity boopity robot man. Go get him, tiger. Honestly, I find that thing kind of sinister in a way. But possibly useful. Maybe he goes and breaks things for me. Or... oh. Oh, it's a digger bot machine thing. Well, that's neat. I don't know how long it's gonna la take him, though. I probably should have just hung out next to him. Maybe I get like a tool or something. Let's let's go hang out near him. See what happens. I assume the battery is kind of relevant for over there. Oh, I see. The point is he's slowly going to be going through. I feel bad for its fallen brethren. But yeah, so we have to go this way, at least for for the time being. And eventually it gives me a shortcut? Uh, hard hard to tell. One way or another, can I pick this up? Hey, bridge bridge lasts. I was worried about for I was worried about it for a hot second there that I wouldn't be able to bring my battery with me. Considering I kinda need it for things. Hey, it's the next part. I'm actually really curious how long this game is. One way or another, I'm pretty satisfied. It'd be a shame if it's only like two hours long. Uh, just because, you know, these puzzles are clever and this, this world is pretty. Uh, but, you know what, if it turns out that it's that short, then it's that short, and that's okay, I guess. No, I can't do anything with that right now. 
So this goes here. There we go. Progress. Nice. Okay, I like this game a lot. I highly recommend it. 13, 15 bucks. It's gorgeous. It's got a pretty good soundtrack. The puzzles are uh, innocuous, kind of simple, but like neither of which in a bad way, which I think is really, really good. And I rather it. I'm having a rather good time, uh, which is a bit surprising ultimately. I don't know. I thought this was going to be like I get stuck or any number of other things, but no. It reminds me of uh, Machinarium, actually, in a lot of ways. Though, you know, obviously it's different as well. And it's quirky. And I think it's really cool. And I highly recommend it for any of you guys that love puzzle games. So, I guess that's it. There's nothing more to say. It's, it's solid and I like it. And I'm going to keep playing. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pan Pan. And as always... Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, and of course, I forgot. Uh, if you guys like this uh, episode of Let's Play, impressions, video, whatever, in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Pan Pan, hit subscribe because I'm shooting for a full playthrough. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what's a Pan Pan? And just kind of like bypass it as like some dumb looking game. But honestly, I would really recommend going and checking this one out, uh, lest it fade to obscurity on the Steam Store without like any any notice which is kind of why i'm glad i found it because it's a really cool game and this is definitely going to be one of those indie gems that nobody knows about so anyway i'll see you guys next time and as always thanks for watching